guys, today they've got me replacing a condensing unit. I went up and started the recovery, tried to get the tools ready. There's no gas for the torches, so I gotta go to another property, grab the gas, and then I'll be back to throw that in. It's a crisp 40 degrees here in Denver. The sun should warm up the roof by the time I get back. Hopefully it's around 50 degrees or so, so I'm not up there freezing. And this should be a nice, fast, quick install. That way the um, tenant has a nice new air conditioner for tomorrow when it drops into the low 20s. So let's get to it. I've got the torches, the tech over at the property, I'm swapping the condenser out at just let me know that the pressure's hit zero and he turned off the recovery machine. So don't gotta sit there and wait for that. I was a little bit worried about how long it would take to recover with it being so cold out if we needed to get a warm bucket or not of water to stick the tank in, but everything's good. It wasn't much refrigerant. All right, the recovery machine's at zero. That valve is closed. So our contactors engaged that means we have low voltage coming in so we don't want this red wire right here to touch this ground if it does it'll blow the transformer downstairs the easiest way to avoid this is to go turn off the thermostat downstairs but I don't have time for that right now so I'm just gonna be so I'm just gonna be careful Wire nuts too big. Having too big a nuts is a problem I'm used to though. And that's why I always carry smaller nuts with me. They're still good. Obviously the power's off. You guys should check this if you're doing these kind of repairs. If you don't, you probably shouldn't be doing these kinds of repairs. Save these rings, they come in handy. Here's our drop-in condenser. This is a Goodman. I recommended replacing the compressor. But now look what we have to do. A bunch of retrofitting. The liquid line um, is not gonna be a big a deal because I gotta cut this filter out and replace it anyway. Wait, no I don't. There's a filter in here. I am gonna cut this out. I'm gonna couple it. That's not gonna be a problem. This is just a little too short. That's not a problem I run into much, but I'm running into it now. So I've got... I don't know, 10, 11 inches of 3 eighths. I need about two feet and I need a coupling. We don't have any, there's none of that here. I've already made one trip to get supplies that were not here. Now I need to make another trip. And all of this could have been avoided if my recommendation of just ordering the compressor, the OEM compressor, was made and I would have been done like an hour ago. Now I'm three hours into this job. I don't even have the condenser hooked up because it's a retrofit. I just baffles me why nobody ever freaking takes my recommendations and then I'm the one screwed. 
because I've been through this crap before. Oh well, good thing I get paid hourly, right? So there's no, there's no three ace anywhere. I'm just using this as a coupling. I don't even care anymore. I'm so frustrated that I have to do this. My boss was just like, just tell him what parts you need and leave. But I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to come back here. I've got all my crap up here. I'm just gonna get this done. got my valves wrapped up I've got my nitrogen hooked up I'm just barely gonna flow about one to two psi through there if that and I'm gonna solder these fittings there's a million of them gotta love retrofit went to go pressure test it and I completely forgot a fitting god I'm an idiot Got this dialed into 200 psi so I'll just let it rip I don't hear any hissing I'm gonna hit all my joints with soap bubbles all ten of them nine of them however many there were pressure tests work good We still have these valve cores out. These are so I can pull a faster, more efficient vacuum. Jesus, like who, this AC has been running all day. It's 50 degrees out guys. No, I mean, geez. I've got these hooked up. 
everything valved off at the moment. My micron gauge is on top of a vacuum pump. Here's my yellow jacket T. And then I've got my lines going into the condenser pulling at both sides. I'm gonna turn it on, let this kick into low gear. And then once I open these, it'll start pulling vacuum from the lines. This condenser is pre-charged, so we're not pulling anything from the condenser itself. And while this vacuum's pulling, I'm just gonna clean up and hook up the electric. thermostat's still on. I don't know if they have those refrigerant fittings at Home Depot anyway. Okay. So we are at 196 microns goodman recommends going down to 250 or less i'm going to valve this off from the system and then you just want to check for a rise i can actually turn this off it says to wait 10 minutes um, if it goes above a thousand in 10 minutes then you have contaminants in the system still if it goes above 2000 you probably have a leak Still holding well above below 1,000. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna valve off right here with my APN tools. I'm gonna take the cap off my suction line and the liquid line. Goodman manual says to open the suction line first. And right now we are breaking vacuum. It's not gonna go into my vacuum pump or micron gauge because I've got it isolated right here at the gate at the at the valves. Got that cracked open. Back seat it quarter turn once you get to the top now I'm going to open my liquid line valve I'm going to remove my vacuum hoses and then reinsert the Schrader valves Harder up, open up my refrigerant. Now I'm gonna let this run for about five minutes before I start adjusting the charge. It comes pre-charged with 15 feet of line set. This one is uh, fl four floors down. Oh, forgot to open this. 32 superheat, one degree of subcool. I'm gonna add a little bit of refrigerant. 410A, you just gotta do this in small doses and wait. I know it, it's gonna take forever. But if you do it this way, you won't overcharge it. 
All right, our sub cool is not rising. I've added about two pounds. Super heat's 11, sub cool's two. It is, it's like 50 degrees out right now, outside. So there's no heat load on this. Maybe if we get a warm day, someone can come in and dial in this charge. My job here is done for today. Okay, repair is done, good to go. Sometimes I just let my emotions get the best of me when working and stuff doesn't go as planned. This is supposed to be a two hour, two hour job. Um, two to four hour job is what I quoted them or what I told everyone I would be. It wound up being five and a half. Half of that was, you know, things just happen. Not everyone's stocked up. Not everyone knows what they need. There's a lot of new people around. And I just, at the end of the day, I just got to remember that, um, you know, I get paid hourly. So either way, uh, it saved the company tons of money. If they would have brought a pro out to do it, they would have done a half-ass job. They would not have, they wouldn't have vacuumed it down to 200 microns. Not the people we use anyways. Well, I'm gonna stop and get some lunch and that may be it for me today. I've gotta drop off some equipment, go get my daughter, do a little running around. But thank you so much for watching the vlog. Until the next one, I'm Dave. I hope to see you there.